Today we are with Ryan Cooper, one of the most infamous sneakerheads in the game. Somebody that you may not even know about, but hopefully today I can introduce you guys to him. He has a crazy collection. I know he's in the middle of a move right now, but he called me and told me this is my perfect chance to do it with timing. And this is something that I've been dreaming to do to see some of these sneakers. So I'm excited. Uh, I don't know how much you want to talk, but just whatever you want to show me, we're here for it. For sure. Yeah, I think in, in, in the midst of all like the, the hypeies, craze with the dunks uh, i definitely have a good amount that i'm going to eventually sell but i want to kind of uncover right now mm -hmm. just to you know some unseen and then a couple that might seem basic but are pretty rare okay well uh where would you like to start and i can do whatever you want me to do just let me know bro yeah for sure i know it's a tight squeeze here but this is just what i have in this area currently um but i guess you can kind of you know start with i guess this this top box or maybe we'll start with some of the more like inline inline stuff you know uh, og boxes right here yeah yeah, yeah oh, 1999 uh you know maybe like the uh the iowa colorway mm -hmm. for 99 you know limited edition you know i know this this came out again recently but uh you know back then you had to kind of, you know, go to Japan, Europe, scour through some collections to kind of find this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I have a couple of these actually, but it's the first one, you know, something basic. Uh, you got another one right here? Yeah, actually this one is crazy. This is the, the dunk that got me into dunks. Uh, the Michigan Dunk Highs from 98. Sheesh. Yeah, you know, I know, like I said, these came out, but you know, Ashy. Brand new, but I've had a couple of these over the few, last few years. Uh, great shoe, you know, very simple. Um, and, I, and that's kind of why I like these shoes. They were just very simple and they weren't sitting everywhere at every other shop in LA, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely with the classics and the OGs is always a nice touch. I see you got an LV box right here. I don't know if you want to crack these open. Oh yeah, yeah. I did get these for retail, which is, which is cool, but not the biggest fan of this shoe. Something I'll probably part with eventually. Uh, I know people are going crazy for these, but nothing crazy to me. Do you have any uh, other colorways besides this one? Yeah, I do have the white ones that I got to grab. Yeah, I like the friends and family ones. I think those look, you know, those look cleaner. You know, the colors are nicer. Um, but yeah, these are pretty interesting. Definitely something wild to have in the collection for sure. For sure. If you've ever played Need for Speed, then you might know who I am. So how long you been like seriously like collecting or really doing it? That's like you said 19, what'd you say the OG was? I mean, those are from 98, 99. So it's been a while. Yeah, you know, um, it, 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 for me it was just kind of like, I was just buying it as, you know, I DJ and, and, and involved in music and uh, you know, a lot of these things I just came across from traveling, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of European travels, and especially Japan. You know, these things are kind of just um, worshipped in different parts of the world, you know. And uh, I've just snagged them along the way. And they were, you know, I, obviously most of these are brand new, but I've gone through a lot of these shoes and I've worn them, I've given them away. But now, obviously, things are things are different. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I know you got some, uh, some very expensive shoes, which we'll get into probably later, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Well, I'll get into some more dunks here. Uh, talk about, you know, Europe, uh, these are from 03, you know, Celtic highs, but, uh, pretty hard to find. I mean, at least these were hard to find. Uh, I know they look like GRs now that come out and sit, but these were things I was chasing at some point later on mm -hmm. when I couldn't find them. But, um, you know, this is a Euro exclusive, uh, Oh yeah, here's another like pretty, pretty old pair. The Stussy Dunks, the Ostrich. These are from 01, I believe. Maybe 03. Let's see. You know, pretty aged. The Ostrich is crumbling on the swoosh, but uh... Yeah, another pair you probably can't wear either. The leather lining is pretty sticky, but... I hope these, you know, get retroed because I'd love to wear them. But uh, yeah, great shoe. Um, they came in a pack. Seen these before, 
when it comes to like dunk highs and OGs and stuff. It's yeah. Actually wild. Yeah, pretty sick. Pretty sick. Oh, you know, here we got some uh, got some more older dunks. This is a pretty good one. It's another like Japan exclusive from '99. like the city series what they called uh but you know just a simple dunk low from 99 uh the reverse ultramans you know really sick really sick i think these did come out uh more recently but you know these are just so they're so basic you know and that's why i like them they're just easy to wear um, i don't even know if i've seen these before did they? yeah yeah they're pretty sick Here's another one, uh, the Reverse Michigans. You know, also from... Also from 99. It's really fire. What would, like, these dunks that we're talking about right now, like, what would these fetch for, like, when it comes to, like, pricing in the game? You know, uh, Well, currently, you know, there's a small niche for this kind of stuff. Uh, but I want to say, you know, around the time when resale wasn't what it is now, it wasn't too much. It just required a lot of like, you know, searching, you know, a lot of hunting on the internet, you know, Nike talk, uh, ISS, eBay, a lot of messaging on eBay, you know, uh, Yahoo Japan, that kind of thing. Not, but not, not, you know, not a couple thousand, mm -hmm. um, a couple hundred, 300 bucks, 400 bucks. And I think the, the more the more interesting thing is being a size 10 and a half a lot of these are a 10 but i at some point when I, you know if i had to buy these more recently finding them above sizes 10 it's pretty difficult mm -hmm. you know you see a lot of these floating around in nine eights eight and a half but they're pretty hard to find in big sizes so you might have to pay you know more you know maybe eight nine hundred for a ten and a half or eleven or twelve or whatever um yeah, I'd say maybe now these might have tanked because you know Nike's dropping these colorways like 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 nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm not buying the new ones, but I do uh, appreciate these uh, these older ones for sure. Definitely, yeah. Looking at the materials alone in hand, they look amazing when it comes to that. Like you were talking about pricing too. I'm a size 13, so uh, it's a struggle like i see some shoes 400 bucks and it looks at my size it's like 800 bucks it's like wildly different pricing but the same exact shoe so like not to bore you guys with the grs but uh here's a pretty crazy one um pretty simple but um you know pre nike sb 2001 uh maybe even 2000 nike was making pro b's this is for uh alphanumeric a skate brand um Pretty, pretty rare. I think there are less than like a dozen of these. Um, they came with, I mean, they didn't come out, but um, there is a grip tape pair, which is uh, very, very similar in design, but the colors are different. Uh, but yeah, these are, these are pretty rare, pretty simple. I know a lot of people are looking for these, but they're, they're pretty hard to find. It's less, like I said, less than a dozen. I mean, and these being dead stock in my size is pretty much a unicorn so is that 3m on the upper yeah yeah it is 3m That's yeah cool. it's pretty sick it's pretty sick i think i might wear these at some point um but yeah i, I do appreciate the, the the simplicity of them what would those be worth i would say at least you know 15 or twenty thousand dollars but it's one of those shoes where like it really depends on the buyer you know it really depends um <laughs> but now maybe now they're only worth that much you know so they could have been worth more well i'm saying because now everyone's like auctioning shoes and mm -hmm. you know there's more media behind these things um but at some point i mean i didn't i paid a fraction of that but uh fifteen thousand is definitely uh what i mean i think they're worth we should uh for sure start cracking into some heat you yeah, already bought yeah. 15 twenty thousand dollar shoes yeah let's start getting into some uh let's get into one that people have seen pretty often here's one pretty good one uh the freddy krueger's i 
I'm sure you guys have seen these, but I know these are like pretty popular now. I don't resell sneakers much, but um, there was a point in time where I, I stumbled across a good amount through Facebook groups and, you know, forums. I was buying them for maybe eight or nine hundred dollars and that's all it took. Now, you know, I've seen some sell as high as 20, 30, 40 K now. Um, and this is just like another shoe where it's, it comes down to sizing and how clean they are and whether or not they have oil and they're damaged. But uh, this pair looks like it's in great condition. This one's pretty good. I have a cleaner one too. I'm sure it's somewhere around here, but uh, yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I'm down to my last couple. Um, one of my favorite shoes for sure. Um, but I, like I said, I, I also don't think these shoes are wearable anymore, but um, you know, a lot of celebrities uh, around Halloween time are looking for these shoes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, these are pretty good. Let's get some uh, more stuff, you know. Here's a pretty good one. Deftone Dunks. So, what's up with these right here? Uh, what's, the, what's the ticket on a shoe like this? I'll say like at least 20,000. And uh, so, those are signed too. Signed Deftone Dunks. $20,000 for this shoe right here. Black and green colorway. It may look oh so simple, but you got the extra branding right here on the back end on the heel and a couple little touches with some silver Sharpie. Next thing you know, $20,000 for a sneaker. What do you guys think about these? Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, what we got right here? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So this is another pair. These ones aren't signed. So, what, what's the price on these then? I'd say the same price. 20 bands times two, that's 40 right there. Oh my God. This is actually crazy. Just some, something really cool. You know, big fan of Stone Throw Records. I know recently these popped off because of Travis. But, uh, Don't throw dunk. This shoe is wild. Look at the materials on there. All the mixtures of textures and everything with the colors. What's uh this is a SB by the way, not a dunk high. What uh what's the price on these? Uh I mean I've seen them on eBay for a thousand bucks, but now I see them on you know Instagram for 30k. So basically the last five boxes we opened is all worth 20,000 or more dollars, basically. Yeah, yeah these are awesome, man. That's crazy, that's wild. Everyone calls these the Quasimodo dunk, but this is actually made for Stone's Throw uh, 10 year anniversary. Yeah, that's fire. Damn, okay. Let's uh, let's crack open a couple more boxes. I know you got some stuff on this side as well. I know. I know you said you was kind of busy and you're rushing, so we got to make sure we get through as many things as we can before the end. But there's a couple of shoes that's like six figures up in here that sure. we might have to show them. I don't know. Y'all want to see the six figure shoes or what? What y'all think? Let me know down below. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So let me tell you about my little horror story real quick. I had the blue lobsters, which obviously aren't nearly worth as much, but they went up in price. Now, these are the yellow lobsters, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but these are grails. Oh my gosh. And this pair is in perfect condition. Look at that. Dead stock. Sheesh. Tell me a little something about these real quick. 36 pairs, concepts. Uh, that's all I can really say. What? There is a white one coming out very soon. Yes. Um, friends and family. But, you know, I think these are definitely one of the better ones. Uh, I do like the blue and red ones as well. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty lucky to own one of these. What's the what's the ticket on those? What does those usually sell for? 50, 50,000 probably. 50 bands, bro. The price is going up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, let's jump into the, you know. Here's a here's a big ticket item. Uh, 
But you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you a, a different version of this one. Come on, bro. We gotta see that one too. Oh my god. All right. All right. So there's more heat on this side. I know we're kind of running out of time. I know you said you got a meeting in like an hour. So let's just uh, hit some more bangers real quick. I, like you said, the six figure kicks. You got like how many six figure shoes? Like ten or twenty? A couple. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, at least show me a couple today. For sure. For sure. Well, I just want to show you a couple of things that uh, I don't think you'll see in any other video, but uh, you know, these are pretty. These are pretty hot. Um, for those who know, they know. Sheesh. These are pre Nike SB Pro Beast Rapid Rapid Smurf, however you want to call it. I mean, dude, these are for sure five figures at least. Um, I want to say less than five pairs in this size around. Um, but yeah, got a couple of these. One of my favorites quality and going back to those smurfs uh here's one part of the same year part of that pack also extremely rare the putties damn yeah man this feel this sweet man yo i don't know if y'all really know or not but i'm telling you right now this is really nice, especially how old this shoe is. Damn, that's wild. So, what's this? Another like five figure shoe? I'd say probably like around eight to ten thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Let's jump into those. Uh, you know. I'm telling y'all right now, y'all are seeing stuff that the internet rarely gets to see in photo or video form right now. This is actually crazy. Uh, you know me. I'm a Jordan type of guy. But with my appreciation for sneakers alone, yeah, there's some fire up in here, for sure. Yeah, I know these are all new, but here's a pair of worn shoes. Personal pair. These are undefeated samples from uh, 2002. I know they came out in 2012, but this is the OG sample. Um, I've worn these for years. Uh, retired now, but uh, you know these used to be crazy back in the day. Um, yeah, they got, the, they got the sample sticker, the mm. sample stamp on the mm -hmm. inside and everything. I love it. I love it. Up here? Yeah, if you want to grab up there, we can start with uh, some of those uh, crazy ones. Okay. Last time we saw a box like this, it had a shoe that was like, how much in it? I don't even know. Let's start with this one. Or you want to go with, I'll let you pick. It's up well, to you, well, we'll go with this first one up here. You know, shout out to Futura. Um, Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Flom Dunks. Oh my. 2004. They say 24 pairs, but uh, I, I think they're around 40. Oh man. So, for y'all that don't know, this is a sneaker that you will rarely see posted on the internet. If so, you'll probably see it reposted as the same shoe from multiple other people. There's not that many people with it. This is definitely a six figure sneaker right here. I don't know, what's the price probably around here on a shoe like this? At least 100,000. At least. Yeah, that stock, my size. All these shoes are my size, which is pretty crazy because a lot of them are pretty hard to find in you know, 10 and a half, 11. Oh yeah, and Flom is, tell them what it is because they don't know. For love or money, future laboratories. This is crazy. But if you think these are crazy, I got a pretty crazy. I got. I think these are crazier. But uh, if you want to peep my replacement box, with everything being on the internet nowadays, I thought I'd just keep these off social media. Here's another shoe you may have seen. Yo. But uh, I'll bust these out. Whoa. The uh, infamous Futura Uncle Dunk Low SB sample. This is the stage one sample from 2004. This is actually wild. Like, everybody just knows the other pair like that came out to the public. And then you see this and it's like, what? what is this? Yeah. This is crazy. I have the release pair somewhere here, but... Uh, some have said 20 pairs, 24 pairs, five pairs, um, but I can only count four. Um, I do have another one up there. 
So there's if there's only four in the world and you got half of them, that's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, these are these are pretty sick. So how much would a sneaker like this be worth then? You know, I'm not sure. I'd say these are pretty priceless. Um, not many exist, and uh, not many people know about this shoe. Um, but yeah. Well, now the DNA fam knows. You guys know, know about it. This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. You got to show us at least a couple more shoes before we go. I know we're running low on time. For sure, for sure. I appreciate I you. you for having me. Anyway. No, of course. Uh, if you want to reach up there, I can show you. Uh, I can show you two more. Yeah. Well, I'll show you these while we have these out. You know, stash. Stash dunks. These are cool. One of my favorites. Uh, What's the price on those? I said maybe like 20k. 20 bands. 20 bands. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, we got a pink box. Here we got something. Something I think is is pretty expensive. Uh, I, I couldn't give you a number, but uh, I will say I think I've only seen one other pair. What are these? But uh, I got you. This is the De La Soul sample. This is for their fifth album. Um, never came out. 2004 production date. Bro, uh, what? You can see the AOI. Yeah, these are pretty sick. Basic, but they're cool shoes. Yeah, now those are fire. I got another price on those too. I'm sorry. Same. I, I put these in the same category as the, the uncles. <sighs> another one that's pretty priceless. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Priceless means, y'all know what priceless means. Very, very expensive. Is there any last things you want to show before we get out of here? Yeah, there's one in the back there if you want to grab it. Um, another favorite. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, another replacement box, replacement box. But uh, one you don't see every day. At least not the original. 1999. The real deal. Wu Tang Dunk. Dead stock. These are one of my favorite shoes. This right here, you guys. Okay, so when it comes to the Wu Tang Dunks, you got the OG. Then there was actually some ultra rare retros that also didn't release. And then we see the Iowa Dunks that came out to the public. A little bit different as well. But quality on these are insane. This is a wild, wild shoe. But um, I'd say in this size and condition, maybe I'd say less than like four brand new pairs any, in a size 10 or above. This is an 11, it's brand new. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Price on these. I wouldn't sell these for less than 100,000. Oh my God. People would be like, but why wouldn't I just get the Iowas? <laughs> this is actually crazy, you guys. We are looking at and witnessing history and dunks and SBs and just classics and rare sneakers that have never seen the internet before. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for having me. I know you said you got more stuff and you're in the process of moving and all the other things. So if you can give us the honor maybe in the future to do a follow-up episode showing some more stuff, I would appreciate it. If not, I'm thank you. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Either way, I had a good time. I hope you did. In mm -hmm. uh, this is this is crazy. You got anything you want to tell the people, all the young aspiring sneakerheads out there? Eventually, part two. Eventually. That's all we need. We out. I'll see y'all later. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.